Peacing folks, how you doing? Use your force. Positive mental attitude. You know how we do. What's that? What was that, Ziggy? It's my birthday. It's my birthday. Today, I'm 41 years old. Or, as my grandparents would have said, 21 again. <laughs> you know, um, I don't necessarily know what I was going to say today. I just thought that I would... I've been out all day, went out, did my morning, spent the day with with friends uh, in a hot tub, in a studio, just, you know, <sighs> doing what I came here to do, man. I have no, I have no God complexes. I have no, you know, ooh, I'm a, but through what I feel, through my life, uh, is that I work with the universe and the only difference between the last few months and before is that I have fully stepped into the service into oh <laughs> Yes, yes, it's, it, it is what it is, right? So once I really, <clears throat> my music, these videos, it's all saying the same thing. Let's get it. Get what, John? Awareness, of course. Let's use the force, positive mental attitude, kind thoughts, loving our hearts, let's Get it! Oh, honestly, um, front to back, today I've been blessed. I'm highly grateful and thankful for all the kind messages I had, for the people that have reached out to me, for the people that I'd reached out to, for my sister, for my friends, and for the people I've never even met but share great vibes with anyway. I wear my fork, my talisman. This is soon to be adapted into something new, which you would all get to see. My beads, because man, these have helped me with calm growth for some time, you know, chaos and calm, light, and dark up and down the building blocks of the universe 1.618 the golden ratio there's so much to this existence like check this out right so i was watching this uh video on ancient I just looked up at my clock then as I started this bit and it was 333. Three, three. <laughs> I was like, that's beautiful anyway. Those that know will know. Um, but so I was watching this um, video on ancient history and more to the point, the stone workers of the ancient civilizations that built the pyramids, that built Stonehenge, that built... Um, uh, uh, t um, Oh, there's so many places and some of the names I forget. Um, oh my God, some of these structures. And they and they reckon that these were like people using Bronze Age tools and all this like madness. Like, check this out. It was epic. So there's like this huge boulder, right? And we're talking like, you know, like eight story, 10 story building right like massive boulder right and on on one on say this face so we're looking at this big boulder right on this face over here it's actually been like cut right back and you've got like this ancient ass looking front of a building that's been carved into this rock face massive doorway all the pillars it's epic um and on the back side there's nothing there 
and then straight down the middle of this thing it is cut in half and then they've underneath each of these halves they've basically pulled away the ground so that it's just like up onto these points you've got this i'll link the video right and you see things like this and you're just like there is <coughs> no way that any of that was done with iron tools like no and it, it's so amazing like we can only comprehend or we can only interface we can only see and sense i think it's point eight uh it's either like an eighth of a point of one percent of the entire scale of the universe right so when nikola tesla speaks on energy frequency vibration and when you look at the musical scale how instruments are harmonically tuned and they are on what's called a 440 scale now right that got changed some years ago i can't tell you the exact time but you can look into it and find it all out right but so the 440 scale which is the harmonic uh, resonance that instruments are tuned to now it used to be on uh, a scale that uh, has 432 in it which i think is divisible of nine i think that's how it works right well that whole scale of 432 all the key harmonics within it are also like in <coughs> excuse me encoded into the uh the the makeup of our existence right this this scale is represented in the pyramids this scale is represented in plants 1.618 the golden ratio right that number shows itself to me all the time i love it right but look into that shit but so this scale that that anyone who knows knows and if you don't you just go and check out what's the just google what's the difference between the 432 hertz scale and the 440 hertz scale hertz just put an h and a z right and the information you will get will be like you can just fill your boots so did me and tricky dicky reset the settings for harmonics in the music production program we use yes we did i can post a video about that as well to anyone who uses to anyone who uses software i shall post a video that will show you the settings you need to change so that your computer transfers the midi files it's only when you actually make the music this is not audio if you're cutting up audio this doesn't work but if you're making midi files from drums to pianos to strings whatever there's a setting that you can change so that your computer then re it changes the scale so it's on the 432 hertz scale i believe it's like um anyway that's irrelevant you'll, you'll find it if you want to see it i'll link a video um so there's two videos i need to link and i'll link both of them so energy frequency vibration is so fucking real it's unbelievable happy birthday nice little coffee i'm just over three weeks with no milk regularly i have had milk in a coffee some mornings at a cafe that i go to breakfast at tiffany's on hove seafront chickity check it out it's lovely the staff are lovely i don't have meat i've been pretty much meat free apart from uh, dixie's birthday and uh, i had one pizza that had chicken on it um uh, but that's now been like pff, i did first video there's video evidence since then it's been about a month and a half stopped smoking weed but today on my birthday uh this will be my third reefer but we're talking like dixie made me one for breakfast Went round his in the morning, 
we had ourselves a nice little uh, chill morning at the reefer. I had a, uh, I had a rum that is almost like, almost syrup-like, and uh, and Dr Peppers. I have not had Dr Peppers for ages because I don't drink Coca-Cola or none of that sort of stuff because it's full of nasty-ass chemicals and you don't want to be consuming that shit every day. You need to get yourself some goodness in you. A lot of superfoods, plant-based, berries, blueberries, blackberries, red berries, berries, berrylicious, you want cranberries, you want all the berries you can get. They're great for muscle and all sorts and the mind and body and the soul is great. So, um, but yeah, man. Uh, so I had a rum and, a rum and Dr. Peppers uh, and, uh, you know, was just with Dixie while he was doing some work on some music, which is always cool. And then had a beautiful walk this evening with a great friend. And we are, well, it's all about trigger. That's that's what it is. Uh, uh, we we are triggers. It's brilliant. It's it's always good vibes and growth. We grow together. You know, uh, it's it's been beautiful. So um, you know, I've had messages from people I care about dearly, and um, you know, and just generally, it's been a good vibes day and just a reminder of what hard work inside can do for you you know because i've had some shit times i've overcome a lot of bullshit and i've faced all of it and uh and each time i fall off the deep end on something and i say deep end that's more like sort of like oh no i'm in sort of like waist tight water it's not that it's, yeah, it can be pretty bad i don't know i'm downplaying it a bit maybe i don't want to be all like but the point is Going through something can offer so much growth. Um, and, and what I am currently seeing is a lot of recognition of the growth I've done for myself. Um, from another situation that was quite tricky a while back, you know, uh, and just processing. You know, um, since my mum died, it just pretty much hasn't let up. Uh, it's just been like... <sighs> heavy ass roller coaster the highs were just like what but the lows were and and just bringing things to a more even keel really implementing balance really just sort of being aware of energy frequency vibration not in like the hippy dippy sense i'm fucking oh i'm howling like a wolf i'm mad as a hatter <laughs> I'm telling you, if what I am is crazy, I don't want to be normal. I have no problem with that at all. And I think we're all fucking bonkers. I think we're all bonkers. I think we all have a crazy in us, right? And that crazy is beautiful. So, you know, I say, find you in a crazy give it a cuddle <laughs> thank it for existing because you know chaos and calm fire and water you know earth and air and you always have the spaces in between and there's so much going on in them spaces <sighs> you know i'm hugely thankful for many different things, for many different people. And, you know, I just want to share with people so that some people will, some people will see something I do. It will inspire them in some way or another and they'll grow a little. And that to me is fucking beautiful you know um i help other people in some way and every time i get help back in some way i'm not a guru so i'm always learning i'm the forever student it's just i've been learning for a long time so i've got a few things i can give but every time i give something something comes back from somewhere so you know you give to receive and believe so we're saying use the force man positive mental attitude be kind with your thoughts and keep loving your hearts peace in let's get it